So please excuse the mess of cameras that I have on my desk. This is for a video that I'm doing tomorrow for my tech YouTube channel. But in this video, what I'd like to do is talk about Brave Browser. I'm sure you've heard of Brave Browser before. This company promotes themselves as offering a fast, secure, private browsing experience. And they talk about blocking ads and blocking trackers. It's all good. You can see here, block data grabbing ads and trackers, a faster internet, browse much more privately with Tor, earn rewards and support content creators by giving them tips. So you get, you know, you get rewards for browsing and then you get tokens and you reward your favorite websites. It all sounds great, doesn't it? It all sounds amazing. It's not. It's not. Brave reached out to me a year or two ago, ironically through this YouTube channel because I was doing videos about cryptocurrency and they wanted me to check out their service and check it out, etc. And I got into a long email discussion with someone from their marketing department and I told them outright, I do not support what you're doing here. I really don't support what you're doing here. And I tried to meet them in the middle because they were polite and I signed up to see what it was like from a website owner's point of view. And I was not happy about that either. Now, I do support the idea of privacy. I do support the idea of security. And I do support a safer browsing experience. The fact is, the internet right now is garbage. Most news websites, most content websites are just garbage. Video ads are playing automatically. Audio ads, they're tracking, you know, there's spyware, there's malware, there's just banner ads everywhere that you can't even read the article. And the articles are garbage themselves because they're just trying to churn out as much content as possible. I fully support people's right to use an ad blocker because browsing the internet right now is garbage. And that's why my website, I don't have any banner ads anymore. I just gave up. I'm like, I, I'm, I give in. I don't want any banner ads on my website. I want a safe browsing experience. There is nothing there. All I've got is my content, links to other articles and links to my videos. That is it. I don't have any banner ads. And the only cookie is the one that's tracking Google Analytics so that I know how many how many uh, people are visiting my website every day. But the IP addresses are anonymized, so I don't know who's visiting. I don't know anything about them. And quite frankly, I don't care who you are. I just want to see the number of people that are visiting, visiting my website. But in theory, I should support Brave Browser, but the sticking point that I had, and this is something that might not concern many of you, but the sticking point that I had was their whole reward system. I think it is very, very unfair and it's also hypocritical. The whole system of Brave is hypocritical because look at it here, get rewarded for browsing and support your favorite content creators. That is something that appeals to people. People wanna make money when they're just doing nothing on the internet. That appeals to people and it's one of the reasons why Brave got popular. But you can see here, your ads earnings are available, claim. So this is for website owners to claim their money. So this is why I don't like Brave. One of a few reasons, actually, one of a few reasons. <clears throat> Why I don't like Brave is, well, I'm a website owner and I have been for 20 years, more than 20 years now. And I understand what it's like to build a website. I understand it's expensive. You have to pay for hosting. You sometimes have to pay for writers. You sometimes have to pay designers and developers to optimize your website so that you can do what you wanted to do. It's not a cheap thing to do. And if you, even, if you do it all yourself and you don't pay people, you have to spend weeks or months building your website. And then you make money by putting a banner ad there so that you can make money. And what did Brave do? They strip all the advertisements from your website. Okay, as I said, I do support that. But what do they do? They strip all the advertisements away and then they display their own advertisements. And this is something I've seen a lot of ad blockers do. They will take away the other, the, the website owner's advertisements and they'll display their own. And they'll say that these ads are secure and you're like, wow, you know, they're displaying ads, but it's safe. But the whole premise that someone can build up a whole business and build up a website and someone can just, you know, the browser company can just remove all those ads and display their own ads is disgusting. But the fact that they're trying to turn it around and make it like a positive is ridiculous. I could sell banner ads on my website and make, say, $500 a month. What they would do is anyone browsing my website, if someone downloaded Brave, I wouldn't get those, those, you know, I wouldn't get $500 a month. They would rob me of that and then they would give me, what, $20 back in return. So I've lost a ton of money. And this brings me on to point number two. If you're not a website owner, then maybe you can't relate to that side of losing money. But 
Brave are supposed to be a privacy company. This is what the whole ethos is. Their whole company is based upon. It's all built upon privacy and security. And they're saying they want your experience to be private. But what do they do? They would take money from a website owner. They'd strip away all the ads, display their own ads, and then you need to claim it back. Now that, you know, just getting pennies on the dollar kind of thing, that I don't agree with. But when you try to claim those crappy cryptocurrency tokens that they've got, you need to give them all your information. You need to give this company that have stolen your money, you have to give them your name, your address, your phone number. You need to give them all of that to actually cash out your tokens, those crappy brave token rewards. That is just mind boggling that a privacy company wants to know everything about you. That is just ridiculous. But that's why I do not like Brave. I do fully support the, the I mean, I, I kind of see both sides of the coin. I support ad blockers. I support people's right to use ad blockers. But I also think that on the flip side, if websites are losing money because of people using ad blockers, they have every right to say to someone using an ad blocker, listen, you're t you've taken away your ads. You have to pay to view your content. I think that's fair. And I've, you know, even on my website, I get problems with people blocking ads despite not having ads. Because what pop uh, uh, pop up blockers, ad blockers do is eliminate a lot of scripts. And a lot of scripts are legitimate. For example, two or three times a week, I get someone telling me that my contact form is not working. And they'll say it's not working. The contact form is working. I'll say that right now. But what they're telling me is it's not working. And the reason is that their pop up uh, blocker or the privacy browser has stripped away JavaScript that allows that contact form to work correctly. But then it normally is like three or four emails in the admit, oh, sorry, I was blocking your website. That was always the, the you know the ethos or the idea behind pop-up blockers and, and services is that you will block the bad websites but allow the good websites that you like to, to continue to make money and to continue to display ads. But in my experience, people, even people that look at your website, read your website on a regular basis, they will continue to block your website. It's, it's just the nature of it. People that use pop-up blockers, they very rarely actually allow even their favorite websites to get through that firewall. So, okay, you're not a website owner. You've got no stake in the game. None of this Brave reward system, really, you know, it's not, a, it's not a problem for you. You don't care about it. You just want a safe browsing experience. But are you going to get that? This week, Seth Estrada posted Brave Browser caught forcing its own affiliate, affiliate links. You could not make this up. You could not make this up. This week, it's all over the internet. Brave have been caught, have been caught red-handed, redirecting users, their own users, to websites using their affiliate links. So when you go to a website, you're not just visiting the website, you're visiting it through their affiliate links so that they generate income. Let that sink in. It's absolutely mind-boggling that any browser would do this. Never mind one that you know talks about it being secure and private. Now, there's a lot of articles out there talking about it. This one here, the Brave Browser, is hijacking links and inserting affiliate codes. It's literally doing exactly what it tells it well, tells you that it's stopping. So it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, no, it's not just a re redirect, but an autofill. And then people have um, you know, looked into it. Now, Brave have reacted and apologized and they've you know, fixed it and all that. But I think what they've really done is show, show their true colors. And I, well, to me, they've showed the true colors years ago with the whole system of taking away ads and then, you know, profiting from other people browsing websites. But the fact that they're redirecting affiliate links is absolutely ridiculous. They are inserting code essentially into URLs. So they will re redirect Binance to Binance, but via their affiliate link. And that's also a problem for any affiliates, anyone who's trying to promote Binance because they will maybe hijack that affiliate link. This is absolutely disgusting. I don't agree with it. It's absolutely hypocritical. And hopefully they'll fall in their ass. I really don't support um, what they're doing to website owners, content creators, because it's not just website owners. Anyone who's on YouTube or anything like that will be affected by Brave as well. Anyone who's creating any kind of content online. But their actions this week have highlighted that they do not care about privacy. They do not, and they don't do not care about your secure, bright, you know, private experience. They're just there to make money, and I fully acknowledge that that's the same with Google and all these other services. But there are alternatives 
to Brave, like DuckDuckGo and all these other, you know, uh, options online. I, I cannot recommend anyone to use Brave. It's hypocritical what they've done, but, you know, they've been doing it for years, really. They've been screwing over website owners and, you know, YouTubers and content creators for years with their whole Brave reward system. They'll take your content and then you need to give them all your information. Absolute bullcrap. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been a bit of a rant video, but it was important to highlight this. I think there's a lot of services out there that have kind of did the same as Brave, where they will push an agenda that they are, you know, ethically a very safe and secure and private and all this kind of thing. But I always think in these kind of situations, actions speak louder than words. And they've kind of highlighted, you know, obviously they'll do the whole PR thing now and they'll backtrack and they'll apologise and they'll fix it. But I think they've shown their true colours and yeah, I, couldn't, I can't rec recommend anyone using Brave Browser because of it. Let me know what you think about it, guys. Leave a comment below and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.